So guys, today we have a review of the two smartphones and comparison. It's Xiaomi Mi 10T Pro or how they call it in China, Redmi K30 S Extreme Edition versus OnePlus 10 Pro, which is flagman of 2022. And this phone, Mi 10T Pro, was released in 2020. So let's compare them, let's see what's the difference and whether it's worth to buy. Currently OnePlus 10 Pro costs around $700 and Mi 10T Pro used uh, can be bought for $300, so the price is almost twice. For the screen itself, as you see, uh, the screen more or less the same, the main difference that uh, <coughs> Mi uh, the Xiaomi has uh, IPS screen versus uh, AMOLED screen in uh, OnePlus uh, 10 Pro. So basically the screen size uh, seems the same, but if we compare them face to face, actually uh, Mi 10T Pro looks a bit wider on the sides because uh, um, OnePlus 10 Pro has curved screen, that's why it's like that. A camera in the left corner on both ones, so for OnePlus uh, it seems a bit uh, closer to the center and uh, on Mi 10T Pro it's closer to the corner, I think it's because of the curved edges as well. So basically uh, on the back side we've got a camera on OnePlus, it looks really good and it's a kind of new design. On Mi 10T Pro it also looks not bad. Uh, and uh, from right side we've got uh, the lock button and here is lock button on me uh, included fingerprint sensor. You have volume here, here you have this volume ring or vibration or silence mode. Uh, from left on Xiaomi it's nothing but on the OnePlus you've got the volume control, on the top you've got uh, uh, AR remove and the speaker, basically the uh, both have stereo speakers, but here in Xiaomi they made a hole also on the top, also we've got microphone on both. Uh, from bottom we've got this not standard, uh, uh, not standard speaker, uh, I mean that usually is located on bottom, but he here actually from right side, yeah, but here on the left side on Xiaomi, microphone both have and here is uh, uh, is a spot for the SIM cards uh, on OnePlus actually, I don't remember exactly. Ah, oh, okay, it's also on the same uh, here on the bottom. Uh, Alright, basically from uh, overview that's it. it uh, Xiaomi has uh, MIUI, MIUI 13 and Oxygen 13 on the left on OnePlus, which is Android 13 powered and MIUI uh, 13 powered with Android 12. So let's unlock the screen, fingerprint sensor, let's try it actually, how fast it works. Uh, Alright, one, two, th I don't know whether you see it, let's try it again, one, two, th oh, again, quite hard to make it at the same time. Let's lock it, one, two, three. Same Xiaomi makes it uh, faster because in OnePlus it's uh, built in in a screen, so maybe that is the point. So Xiaomi <laughs> has faster screen. From camera, it, uh, Xiaomi has 1.8 megapixel camera, uh, so 108 megapixel, which is quite a huge resolution versus 50 megapixel on OnePlus. Of, of course, the camera uh, is better on OnePlus uh, because it's two years uh, newer. Also, you've got this flashlight on OnePlus, it looks like this, but actually have only two LED, but it shows uh, and looks really good. Uh, all right, so let's just compare how fast it works. Uh, let's go through the settings and compare Oxygen OS with Mi UI. Basically, that's, that's the main point of comparison. Uh, that's how the taskbar looks like. So here in, in Oxygen OS it looks more classic, uh, like a regular Pixel phone. Meanwhile, on on Mi 10T Pro it looks Xiaomi design. So I don't know. It's up to your preference which one is nicer. But uh, I like that music control built in instead of being it here. Also notification is separate here, but on OnePlus it's actually uh, here at the same place. Alright, let's move on. 
So that's one point, the task drawer, I don't know why it's deactivated right now. From left you've got Google Discover and it's not changeable on OnePlus. Meanwhile on Xiaomi you've got App Vault or Google Discover up to your preferences. So let's try the first one, Google Discover is here. And let's try the second one, which is looks quite nice actually. Uh, one plus similar one, but you cannot use it on minus one screen, so it's only available. Uh, all right, agree. So basically, the style is quite good, looks new, fresh. Let's say, yeah, of, of course, it should bloat a bit. Uh, maybe download something from the internet and it will work you have quick notes here and many other information meanwhile on oneplus you can only use google discover uh, all right let's go to the settings and check uh, first of all we've got device my device basically we've got the xiaomi version which is 1307 mi 10t pro 256 gigabytes and this device also 226 gigabytes snapdragon 865 versus Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, 6.7 inch screen, here we have 6.67, so more or less the same, the battery is similar, RAM we've got 12 versus 8, and the camera 48, 50 and 8 megapixel, here we've got front camera 32, on Mi 10 T Pro front 20 megapixel, and 13 plus 5 megapixel on other cameras. Oxygen 13, the latest update, uh, meanwhile on Xiaomi MIUI 13, also the latest update. So let's compare the settings, let's see what we've got here. Basically, let's start from Wi-Fi, the settings are Wi-Fi Assistant, which is traffic mode, so here we also have got Wi-Fi Assistant, which is quite similar. Bluetooth, we've got some additional settings, uh, here we also have them. We can sense the once volume, display codec standard, and basically here just one option, com uh, pair compatible devices. Uh, connecting and share, even the description, it's very similar. Uh, all right, here we've got MIUI Plus, Mi Share. Meanwhile, personal hotspot available, private DNS, print, screencast. Basically, uh, Mi Share and MIUI is not available on OnePlus, of course, because it's Xiaomi features, but all the other features uh, seem same as on OnePlus and on OxygenOS. Wallpapers and style, so now they look... Uh, allow the time... Now they look pretty similar, from MIUI 13 the design changed, actually, we've got this... Um, a super wallpapers from Xiaomi, which looks really nice. Meanwhile, OnePlus is not really available, similar style, but you see it's uh, really good looking. And uh, here we can change colors on OnePlus, which is nice. So basically you can adjust the text color and all the toggles color, which is not available on MIUI. Uh, it's much less settings on wallpapers. But at the same time, we've got ringtones, let's check. Well, we've got Xiaomi, Xiaomi stock ringtones on OnePlus. What else is available? Quick settings so you can adjust how it looks like. You can make a circle square uh, and the other window, rhombus and other standards. Meanwhile, on Xiaomi, this option is not available. Moreover, fingerprint uh, animation, which is no need for Xiaomi because you've got it all oh, the fingerprint sensor on the right side. Notification alarm, so basically here we've got some settings for AMOLED screen, like always on option here is not available, so basically it's not uh, in the settings at all. Uh, home screen and lock screen, basically um, here is just a bit different settings. Uh, we will not focus on it, I think uh, everything more or less similar to each other, sound and vibration. Although nothing special, notification and uh, status bar, same, similar, Android, just the control panel is different as I showed before, but in general those uh, operation system looks really similar. I will skip all these other options and just check maybe battery, how, how they show it, basically same, similar, 
have some additional settings but of course the oneplus is newer it support wireless charger and reverse wireless charger meanwhile the xiaomi mi 10t pro doesn't support this option fast charger available on both 67 or even 80 on oneplus versus uh, 33 watt uh, on a mi 10t pro special features so both of them have some special features here we've got sidebar uh, actually it's also here as they call it smart sidebar floating window flexible window split screen also available here but it's not in special features quick launch so yes more related to fingerprint kids pay simple mode work life balance basically similar options available on both so comparing those two i could say that it really looks similar maybe oneplus looks uh, of course oxygen os looks more uh, as android uh, basic os meanwhile xiaomi has a lot of uh, customization settings and it doesn't look like a stock android rom so comparing those two devices they both works well on their software on the latest updates and actually uh, in this comparison it's only up to you what you prefer you prefer oxygen os or you prefer MIUI, but they will be very very similar between each other uh, maybe MIUI looks a bit more chinese but also you can customize it you can change many settings and make it more uh, look like stock android meanwhile you, uh, on uh, Oxygen OS it already looks like stock so you don't need to do it but if you like more animation and to have it more in this Chinese style mode so that's option for you MIUI uh, and thank you very much for watching that was comparison of those MIUI versus Oxygen OS and Mi 10T Pro versus OnePlus 10 Pro put a thumbs up and see you next